Would you like to make $500 by simply copy and pasting? If so, stick around because I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can do that in three simple steps in this video today. Now, this will take work and effort. I don't believe in get rich quick schemes or anything like that, but I'm gonna break down how to make this $500 with three simple steps. Now, the cool part about this method is that you have the potential to make even more than $500. In some cases, you'll make a little less. In some cases, you'll make more. It all depends on how you execute. And I'm gonna share with you the details of exactly how to do it. This works worldwide. You can get started for free and you can get started right now today. There's a big opportunity here and I'm really excited to break it down for you. So if that sounds good to you, let's jump on my computer and we're gonna break this down. Before we get into that, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on and I will update you every time I post a new video. If you've been here before, thanks for returning. I am excited to share another money-making method with you today. All right, so there's gonna be three websites that we're gonna be utilizing in order to make this money and it's actually very, very simple. What you wanna do is you wanna come into a Craigslist it can be in your local area, or of course, if you're in a different country and you don't have Craigslist, that's okay. Just go and pick any random Craigslist throughout the United States, or of course, they do have Canada. They do have some worldwide ones too as well, but you could just pick U.S. states or U.S. cities and just pick one of the cities. And of course, if you want to find even more opportunities to make more money, you know, just go through and go through the different ones. It does not have to be your local area. But the section that we're interested in for this method is under the services section, we're going to click skilled trade. And you could do any of these services, but I'm gonna focus on skilled trade in this video today. All right, so here's what we're looking for. We're looking for a company on Craigslist here who's advertising their services, but that does not have a website. So let's just go and start looking through here and see what we can find. Okay, these guys, let's see here. Uh, they don't have a website listed. So what we would wanna do is we'd wanna like Google their phone number. They actually don't have a name listed either. So we could Google their name or we could Google their phone number. I, I like if I can find a name though because that just makes it a little bit easier. But again, you don't have to. You could just Google the phone number. Here's another one, affordable maintenance handyman services. Um, are you in need of any maintenance or handyman services? Give us here, right here, Heinz and Forbes Property Maintenance Repair Services, LLC. Now we have here both a name and a phone number. We know exactly who the company is. We know where to reach them. Of course, we're probably not gonna call. We'll probably just email them or shoot them a Facebook message. And I'll give you a script on exactly what to do. So stick with me because here's how we're going to use this to make $500 by copy and pasting. Okay, so this is step one. Step one is we're gonna find a person on Craigslist advertising their business services who does not have a website. And then what we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to confirm that they actually don't have a website by just simply doing a Google search. Okay, so a simple Google search reveals, well, here's their Facebook page, your Yellow Pages, Angie's List, ProMatch, or Open Corporates. Clearly, there is no website here for this business. And I kind of assumed that because if there was, they probably would have listed it in their advertisement so that people could go see it. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Paul, I don't know how to build a website. And that's okay because in this video today, we're not gonna be building websites. Instead, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be copy and pasting their business information over into a software called Canva. And the reason why is because we're going to design this business a business card. And this is the theory and it's almost always right. If the business does not even have a website, they probably don't even have a business card yet. And if we design one for them free, we can actually make money by printing it for them. And don't worry if you don't know how to print, you can have an online service do this for you and then you just upcharge it for your time. Okay, so here's how this works. We're using a website called canva.com. Canva.com allows you to design business cards and all, all kinds of other graphics too without being a graphic designer. So if you come under the template section of canva.com and under business, you're gonna see there's a section called business card. And this is great because they have so, so many niche specific business cards. We've got photography, yoga, music, DJ, catering, web designer. 
I mean, the list goes on and on, but let's look for something that would fit, what was this, a, a handyman service. Okay, let's look for something that's gonna fit a handyman service. And I'm gonna show you how easy this is. We're just gonna copy and paste our way to around $500. Again, it could be more, it could be less. It just depends on what you decide to charge. But I figure that's about, you know, a, the average price that someone's probably gonna be willing to pay. Okay, handyman right here. Perfect. Look at this. We have just tons and tons and tons of templates here that fix or that uh, fix. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm thinking about handyman, so I'm thinking fix. But that fit the handyman service. Now, we could pick whatever one looks great that we think that would be good. Uh, I'll just pick this one because this one has, you know, like tools in it and it, they do have fronts and backs. And of course we can modify that, but all we need to do is click use this template. Canva is going to pull it up and now we're ready to go and start actually copy and pasting the information here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to pull open, I don't know, let's just pull open the yellow pages listing and let's figure out all the details. Okay. Heinz Forbes remodeling property maintenance repair services. So I'm going to Actually, I'm going to copy the name off of their ad. So I'm going to uh, go here, right click and hit copy. And I'm going to come over into Canva on my template here on this white part. And I'm going to click paste. Boom. Just like that. I've copied and pasted. I'm going to make the size a little bit smaller though, because that looks kind of big. There we go. Perfect. Carpentry and repair services. Well, let's go and see exactly what they offer. Okay, affordable maintenance and handyman services. That's the headline of their ad. So I'm gonna highlight that, I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna paste that right here, just like that. Perfect. And of course we can go and we can adjust sizes on things. You know, that's no big deal, just like that. Okay, and just like that, we've designed the front of their business card. Now, you may be wondering what is this watermark here that is hovering over the design. Well, Canva wants you to pay for that. So when you go and you click download, you they're gonna want you to pay $2 to actually download that. So what you can do is don't pay to download the $2 yet until you get them to agree. So what you could do instead is just take a screenshot of this, okay? And the way you do that on a Mac is you press uh, Command Shift, I think it is, three and that'll take a screenshot of it. If you're on a Windows PC, you hit print screen, um, and then you can go into Microsoft Paint. There's also uh, software out there like Jing is one of them that will allow you to take a screen share of it. And you know, from that point, you just take a picture of it. Okay, and this is what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually send them a message. Now you could call if you wanted to, you could send them a message, you could send them an email, but this is what we're gonna say. We're gonna say something like, do you offer handyman services or something like that? If it's an email, if it's a Facebook message, like we found this person had a Facebook page, we could just shoot them a Facebook message and we wouldn't even have to use a subject, which would be great. So we could just say, hi there, I noticed you did not have a website I'm guessing you may also not have business cards. So I went ahead and designed you some for free. I'm a new designer trying to build up my portfolio and just needed some examples to show potential future customers. I'll attach them here. Let me know if you'd like to add or change anything. And then you just sign off with your name. Now, here's why this works really well. You may be thinking, aren't they gonna be thinking like this is too good to be true? Well, they are, that's exactly what they're gonna be thinking. But because you said this right here, I'm a designer, a new designer, trying to build up my portfolio and just need some examples to show potential future customers. Because you said that, that's going to that's going to like hit them and be like, okay, well that's why they're doing it. That makes sense now. Okay, so you can really do any variation of this message as long as you have the justification of why you're doing it for free. 
Okay, you just need that justification. Now, once they get back to you, they're probably gonna get back to you with the names that they want on the card. Of course, you know you could just go in there and add in, this is gonna be like the front or back of the card. Just go and add in their name of whatever they want and you know their address. They might have some changes because they don't have a website online, so you really don't know if the information they have online is even accurate. Once they get back to you with that, then you say, how many would you like printed, okay? And at this point, this is how you're gonna determine how much you're going to charge them. So I use a service online called docucopies.com and I'm not sponsored by them or anything. In fact, all of these services that you're seeing that I'm using in this video, this is just services that I use in my business, that I use on clients like I'm showing you and they don't sponsor me or anything like that. I just genuinely like their service. So you can uh, know when I'm recommending them. It's not because they're paying me to be recommending them. It's because I actually use them and this is what I do for a living. I actually do stuff like this. So under the business card section is where you can get their business cards printed. And you literally, when you save the file, like I say, you'll have to pay the $2 and you'll be able to click download. You'll be able to upload those files right here, okay? And it'll tell you how much it's gonna cost. So for 250 business cards, it's $30. And what you can do is you type in their address, you know, their business address, and DocuCopies will ship it straight to the customer. You can ask them to not include any pricing in it because what you're gonna do is you're going to mark it up for your time, for your, for your you know, time of designing and actually going and getting it printed, you're gonna mark it up. So you're designing it for free, but you're charging them for the printing services of it, which is a fair trade. So this is gonna be your supplier who you use to print it, and then they ship it to the customer. So you maybe mark this up two or three times. So for 250 business cards, they pay $60. Or for 250 business cards, they pay $90 or $100. You get the point. So if they want more cards, it's gonna cost more money. For a thousand cards, it's gonna be $50. Maybe you charge $200 for that, right? So just depending on how many cards they actually need, if they have multiple employees, this can actually start to add up. You know, if each employee they want a thousand cards for and they have, you know, 10 employees, that starts to really add up. And of course, you can repeat this process over and over again because you can go on Craigslist again find someone else and then do it all over again, rinse and repeat. So what you do is you say, okay, for a thousand business cards or 10 people, it'll be this much money. And then you send them a PayPal invoice and get them to pay you via PayPal. Or if you wanna have them pay you, however, a check, it doesn't matter. You can have them mail you a check. From that point, then you can go into Canva and you can download it, pay the $2 to download the image and then have DocuCopy ship the business card straight to them. Okay, so the three simple steps are find someone without a website, design them a business card for free, and then email it to them. And then from that point, you can then go and charge them to get the business card printed. That is where you make your money. And you've got a client, rinse and repeat. That is how this works. Now, I'm going to put a link over here to another video for you to check out on how you can actually make $500 just by searching Google. Go check that out. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. I upload videos like this weekly. I will see you in another video. I am Paul James. Peace out.